Hello and welcome to Electric Focus and you've decided to get a home charger but which one are you going to get? Well hopefully I can help you with that and today we're going to review the MyEnergy Zappi charger. Let's get straight into it. So today we're reviewing the MyEnergy Zappi charger and before we get into what I think are the main features let's talk about some of the geeky features if you like. So first of all, it has something called load balancing. Basically what that means is it protects your fuse. So it regulates the amount of power going to the charger and make sure that you don't overload your fuse. So that's that. The second thing it has is what's called pen protection. What that means is that it avoids you having to have an earth rod installed. That's gonna save you a bit of money. It's also a bit neater and easier to install. The next thing it has is over the air updates. And that's really useful to have for things like bug fixes, future proofing, and just general software updates. So it means you don't have to send a charger away or have somebody come out to look at it. You know, you can just do it over the air. It's also a smart charger. What that means is that it meets the latest legislation and it also means you'd be eligible for any grants. But we'll come on to grants when we come on to costs later. And lastly, it has an app so that you can work it remotely. And all the chargers these days generally do have an app. This one works with Wi-Fi only. So it doesn't work with 4G or Bluetooth like some others. So you do need to have a good Wi-Fi connection or you can hardwire it in if you need to. Zappi also comes with a three year warranty. So that's basically just peace of mind to know that it will be fixed within that three year period. Okay, so let's get on to some of the key features I see for the Zappi. And the first one is its ability to integrate with solar. If you've got solar power, then you definitely want to be having a look at the Zappi. If you're thinking about getting it in the future, you definitely want to have a look at it too, because it is really well known for its ability to link with solar, Always even, also even works with wind power as well. So if you've got that facility, look at that too. But definitely one of the key features of the Zappi charger. With the app, you can set different charge rates, schedule in times that you want your charger to be charging. So that's useful if you've got time of use tariffs, for example, an off peak rate, say for four hours, like I've got with Octopus Go. So you get four hours at a very cheap rate and you can set the charger to only charge at those times. It has tethered and untethered options. And what that means is that you can either have the cable connected to the charger, so it's permanently connected, great for convenience. I personally love having that convenience. So when you get home, you just plug the car straight in and go indoors. Or you can have untethered, and that just means that there's no cable attached to it. So you have to use a cable from your car to connect it up. Um, that's less convenient, but it could be useful if you're a landlord, for example, and you've got tenants and you want to have more flexibility um, or you just like the neatness of not having a cable permanently on your wall. So that's tethered and untethered options available with a Zappi. And last but not least is what does it look like? Well, it's not a bad looking charger, um, but you'll be the judge of that whether you like it or not. It's bigger than some, but then it's got a wraparound cord function so you can hide the cord a bit. Whereas some others, even though they're smaller, maybe have to have a separate bracket then to hold the cord. And this is if it's tethered, of course. If it's not tethered, you haven't got that issue. And what about costs? Well, I think these days you've got a budget for around about £1,000 plus for any charger you're having installed on a standard installation. A standard installation depends on whether you've got a modern property really or not generally. So if you've got an electricity box on the outside that's quite easy to get to and quite near to where your charge is going to be, then that's going to be a fairly standard installation. If like me, you live in an older property and your electricity box is inside and also you're putting your charger quite away from distance from that box, then it could be more expensive because you're going to need more cable. It's simple as that. So get a couple of quotes. You're looking at at least a thousand pounds plus these days for most installations. But with the Zappi, I think you're looking at around 
are budgeting around £1,200 anyway. So think about the kind of level, but go out there, get some quotes and see what you can get. Now, when it comes to grants I mentioned earlier, there used to be a £350 grant that you could get for any household. Unfortunately, that did finish in March of 2022. However, it's still available if you rent your property or you own a flat. So rentals or flats or both, um, you can still be eligible for the grant. So look into the detail, but uh, if you're not one of those people, then you're gonna have to play full price, unfortunately. Okay, so that's it. That's the My Energy Zappy Charger. I hope that was useful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll speak to you soon.